Sometimes we come across a house that's so unique and so well executed that we just have to show it off. Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to This House. Today we are in Kell, Illinois, exploring a double dome house that was designed by Will Federer. Before we go inside, let's take a moment to see the entire property and then we'll check it out. Walking into this house, immediately the space begins to open up as we arrive in the living room. So looking around, we can see that the stairs go up to the second floor, going with the angles of the geodesic dome. Now in front of me here are four niches that are cut into the hardy panel walls. And over to this side is the kitchen. We'll see that in just a moment. First, let's take a moment to just really see this and experience the space, and then we're going to head on upstairs. As we arrive at the first landing on the stairs, we can look down and see these unique shapes that appear as they go between the railing of the stairs and the geometric surfaces of the wall. So let's continue on up here and keep an eye out for these types of details. Continuing up the stairs, now the dome behind me has begun to roll up over my head and completely envelop this space. Off to this side is a closet, and we'll skip this for now and continue forward. And this is going to bring us through a segmented arch into the next part of the house. But before we go through this, let's look up because there's something really special here. This is the center of this dome, and from it is suspended a ceiling fan. We can see that it has transom windows that wrap all the way around it to allow in not only a breeze, but a lot of natural light to come in at all angles and really bounce around. So come on through here. This takes us into the owner suite. So directly behind me here is the sleeping area. And we can see that it has this pronounced hexagonal window, as well as two smaller windows, which can be opened up to allow in a breeze and better enhance the ventilation. So let's take a look around this and then we'll go explore the bathroom. Moving to the other side of the owner's suite, we now pass through a door and this takes us into the owner's bathroom. So let's take a moment to look around this. Of course, there is some incredible geometry unfolding before our eyes as the exterior walls now constitute the exterior walls of the bathroom. And we can see that there are two hexagonal windows above the tub, which allow in a lot of natural light while still providing privacy from the outside world. Off to this side is the shower, and we can go ahead and peek in here. Of course, this has an open ceiling, so you can still see the dome above while you're standing in the space. And off to the side is the toilet. Coming out of here and wrapping around this corner, we can see the double vanities. And let's take a moment to see this. These double vanities are a type of crushed glass that's called Viltraza. And this is a reclaimed material that the owners have used in this house, which makes the construction a lot more sustainable. Now that we've seen the entirety of the second floor of the first dome, let's head on downstairs and continue exploring this house. So come on down here with me and we will head on over to the kitchen. Coming down these stairs, once again, we can just really feel the space start to open up, all of the natural light that's pouring in from the giant hexagonal window above me here. 
And of course, the way that the lighting hits the bamboo flooring in contrast with the woodwork and the hardy board, it's just, it's a really amazing experience. Continuing on, the space is now about to become compressed as the ceiling height is lowered over the eating area. So let's take a moment to see this. Now continuing from the breakfast room into the kitchen, first we will notice that there is a giant peninsula that is crafted out of Ultrazo, which once again, that's the same crushed glass that we saw up in the master bathroom. And if we look down, these floors are Spanish Satillo tile, and these are just absolutely magnificent how they pair with the Amish hickory cabinets. Off to the side of this kitchen and directly behind me here is an additional bedroom as well as an additional full bathroom and a laundry room. We're not going to see those today. However, we are going to continue on through the breezeway and see the garage and the second dome. So come on through here. This is going to take us now to the second dome. So of course, there is a beautiful rounded window here with a stained glass insert. And this is set up as an additional breakfast area. You can see the bistro table. And there's also another door that looks out to the backyard. Now we're going to come down a few steps into the garage. Off to either side is storage and then a wet closet. So come on through here. Let's go ahead and shut this door because we don't want to let all the heat out. And this takes us into the four car garage. So follow me on through here. We can see now from the exterior that the garage bays extend out from each face of the dome. So let's take a quick moment to see that. And then let's start exploring this. Now bringing our focus back inside, we can start walking around this domed garage and we can see that there's another garage bay here. Directly in front of me is yet another garage bay. And then there are also workspaces set up all throughout here. So this is just really unique and I've never really seen a garage that's laid out quite like this before. And as we look up at the ceiling trusses, we can see that they are all radially laid out to go towards the center supporting staircase. So as we begin to make a full circle around the garage, we come back to where we just entered off to this side. There's a door over here, and this is now going to take us up to the man cave inside of the second dome top. So let's make our way out the spiral staircase and go check it out. Entering into the man cave, we are on the second floor of the second dome. And similarly to the first dome, of course, there are these geodesic triangles that really create the entire space. Now, separately from the first dome, we no longer have those timbers outlining hexagons all over the ceiling. So come on through here. This takes us into the living area. There's also a bar that follows the geometry of the space as we begin to wrap around it. And off to this side is an exit onto the deck. So we can go on out here and check out these views. And as we walk out here, there is an overhang above me that once again continues with the geometry of the domes in deciding its exact angles as it protrudes above me. And this takes us out onto a wooden deck. There's a staircase that goes down to the pond and then just these beautiful panoramic views that really give you a sense that you are in your own private oasis here. So let's just take a moment to see all of this and then we'll keep exploring. Now coming back inside, we are going to rotate around the bar and head into a bit of a nook. So off to this side is the home office 
come on in here and take a look at this. The space curves out with the shape of the dome, which allows for there to be several separate areas from which you can work in. Continuing on, there's a staircase off to my side. We'll take that in just a moment. But first, let's go ahead and peek inside of this full bathroom. Now that we've seen the entirety of this floor, let's go up another floor and check out the top of the dome. Spiraling to the top of these stairs, the dome is now so close to my head that I have to duck to get through here. And the banister continues around, complementing the geometry that we've seen below. And this is going to take us to a staircase, which will lead us into the cupola at the very top of this dome. And this space that we're about to see is just so special. So let's head on up here and let's take a look. Now to get in here, we open the small door and we just kind of crawl through and this immediately starts to open back up. Now above me here, we can see that the timbers have returned, but instead of being a geometry of six, this time there are five linear elements creating a pentagon directly in the center. And there are windows that look out all over the property. So you can stand here and get 360 degree views of all of this beautiful nature. All right, Cindy, thank you so much for opening up the doors to this house. It has been such a pleasure to explore it and just an amazingly unique experience that I very much enjoyed. Could you tell our audience a little bit about your involvement with this property? Absolutely. Thank you for your interest. And I hope everyone else is interested as well. My name is Cindy Quinn. I am a realtor with Midwest Farm and Land. This is one of the most unique homes that you will find in Southern Illinois. It is a true double dome. If you want more information on this unique home, you can contact me at the links below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you all for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time on This House.